I'm concerned you, Paul. You are very welcome to High Life Guitar Class. My name is Daniel Watin. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, an upgrade to Ya Amponsa. Do you want to play Ya Amponsa like? If you want to play Yam Ponsan like this, then stay with me as I take you through the various activities that will help you to play this melodious Yam Ponsan rhythm. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and then check the notification uh, so that you will be updated anytime I upload a video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I am expecting your comment at the comment box. Let's begin. Good. We are going to play C dominant seventh. F, uh, sorry, it's D minor. G major. In some cases, we play G seventh, and then C suspended fourth. C suspended fourth. Nya di bi a edi. Me di mi fourth finger na si fa ano suke ke. Ena mabo. Na me di. So let's do this activity. Let's do this activity. You are taking this lesson step by step. All you have to do is follow what I am doing. Okay. Um, we are playing mi so mi fa re mi do re hmm? re fa re mi do re ti do. This one we are playing it in duets, all right. Playing with the thumb and my first finger. So me, I play with, with the G, the G. Then so I hold the the B flat and then the G together and play I play the G and then the E again I play A and then F I play F and D G and then E then C and then E C and E Then I play F and then D, and it continues like that. Mi fa re mi do re ti do. Let's learn this. Let us learn this. Today I have time for you, so very slowly. Follow me. One, two, three, go. the first activity I want you to do this let's look at another one the same introduction to Yam Ponsa let's look at another one you're playing mi so mi fa re mi di re like this di re then the rest are the same re fa re mi do re ti do let me take it again. Mi so mi fa re mi di re. 
re fa re mi do re ti then the rhythm follows okay let's handle this one let's do justice to this so let's go look at how i played the d the d i hold i held the e and then the c sharp together mm? i held d uh, e and then c sharp together then d, play this okay I hope you see my right hand how I am doing. Okay, so let's put them together. Good. I hope you have gotten this one at your finger tips let us do it once more good then let's look at the rhythm we have already done the rhythm We have done all this now we are going to add up to whatever we have learned so like this listen very carefully after that i explain good now before we continue if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit on the subscribe button and then click on the notification so that you will not miss any lesson from uh, my channel let's continue now your c dominant seventh is here okay the actions and activities are at the uh, right side so let's look at the left before I show you what I am doing at the right hand side good like this Okay, now let's check me at the right hand side. Check me at the right hand side. I am using my thumb, then my first finger to play. So let's look at the bass side, then after that we look at the treble side. Okay, I check what I am doing with my thumb. I am going to show you the bass side. I am playing C dominant seven, but the thumb, my thumb is playing like this. Okay, do me ti re, hmm? do me ti re, mi fa, mi fa mi. Let's do it again. Do me ti re, okay. Do me, do me, ti, re, mi, fa, mi, fa, mi. Once more. Do me, ti, re, mi, fa, mi, fa, mi. That's one of the activities of the thumb. I hope you can do it. Let's do it again. 
do mi ti re mi fa mi fa mi good down the the, the treble side the main melody i am playing it with my first finger mm. Good. So that is the function of my first finger. It is playing do to do la re la do so do to do to do la re la do so. Play it and let me see. Do to do la, re la do so. Now putting the two together, I am playing the root and then the root. Okay, so I am doing this. Okay, have you seen that? Okay. Again. Good. Good. It seems I am adding a lot, but I want to take it slowly, slowly, mm? slowly. Okay, I hope you have gotten what I am doing. Now let's um, put them together and see. Good. Now let's add another bass line. Let's add another bass line. I taught you do, mi, ti, re. Mi, Fa, then you play Fa Fa, right The bass line I am giving you another one is the, the This Fa here, the F here You have to learn to play it with your left hand thumb, okay, like this Like this So Place your left thumb on the F, then your G, then your C. I hope you've forgotten what I want to uh, explain to you. So uh, let's look at it. So I did do mi, ti, re, mi, fa, then. Hmm? Okay, in some cases, uh, instead of playing fa, 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 so, we play fa, fi, so. Let's see. Okay. Good. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. This is not the full episode, but because of time, I don't want you to be confused of this lesson. So, um, on this note, I want you to practice up to this point 
so that next time when we meet we continue and then add a lot of embellishment <laughs> Good. We will meet next time for another lesson.